everyone, it's Raj and Gabby from Relationship Fun and Games. And Fights Clean Sex Duty TV. And we're here with our tip for the week on how to keep the fights clean during. Yeah, this is just in the heat of the argument. You know, you are in it, right? <laughs> and what are you going to do? Are you going to fight fair? Are you going to go for the, ooh, low, blow. the low blow? She's no. punching below the belt if you can't see that. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you know, and usually what happens in an argument, you know, someone's tired, under-resourced, you know, one person kind of pushes and pokes a little bit and the other person reacts and, you know, then it is this like, you know, can escalate and blow up and, you know, get too extreme sometimes and then you might retreat, you know, maybe you're lucky and you resolve it a bit, but, you know, and then usually it repeats again. So this is like how you can actually shorten that process and stop right in the middle of an argument. This is our oldest and dearest favorite tip and it's called... Stop, shift, start. Yeah, stop, shift, start. So, you're in it. You're in it. You're going for the low blows. And you're upset. You can't really think that so well. And so this is shorthand. You know, the, the tip is called stop, shift, start. And that's shorthand for let's stop. We're not treating each other the way we are committed to treating each other. Let's shift into a more intentional way that we want to be, shift our behavior, and step into what we've said, who we want to be as a couple, and how, what agreements we've made about how we're going to fight. So, for example, like we don't, we don't um, call each other names, right? That's like a big no-no. So you want to, for yourself, draw a line in the sand. Um, you know, what's your own behavior that you don't want to go to those low blows, but also evolve your ability so that when you are in that place and your beloved is, you know, going for the low blow, that you can just call, stop, stop shift, shift, start. start. And they'll know that, you know, hey, I've got one big toe in this reality of the vision that we've created come meet me here. You, and Raj, tell me how to bring some play to it. Well, one way you could bring some play to it is put on the boxing gloves. <laughs> Don't hit each other. <clears throat> Another way <clears throat> is through this. I can't really hold it, but yeah. our yellow flag, and you can say, I call, stop to start. I stop. Yes, we even have just a whistle like too. a football referee or something like that, right? Or you can just pretend if you don't have props with you, you know, points for props, but if you don't have props with you, that's fine. Go ahead and pretend, blow a whistle, call a yellow flag, you know, let them know next one's going to be a red flag. You're going to take them out, not literally, of course, um, but just bringing some lightness and some play to it and let your beloved know, come on, we can do this. We've got a better vision for our relationship, and right now we're not being that. I know you don't want to be who we're being right now. The default can be disastrous. Yeah, yeah, and we can waste so much time that we would rather spend being intimate and relaxed and refreshing. Instead, we can devolve into this fight that can go down and down and down and waste an entire evening or weekend. Yeah, you don't want to like ruin a vacation or a perfectly nice dinner just with, you know, something going south. So give yourself that ability to just pull the emergency brake, pull the ejector seat, better than the ejector seat because it actually can bring you together. Now, when someone offers you that olive branch, that's that sign of peace by saying, hey, stop, shift, start, come meet me over here back where we love each other, remember that place? And you say, screw, stop, shift, start, <laughs> that is not good, it's a huge red flag John Gottman the relationship researcher lets you know lets us know that that's one of the really serious warning signs in a relationship if you don't express uh, accept the olive branch accept that offer of peace when it's given to you so call stop shift start and when it's called make sure you accept it because you deserve a playful peaceful passionate relationship it's possible and wonderful is so worth it Here's to you and saving being nasty for your sex life. Yep, keep the fights clean and the sex dirty. And join us for our next tip next week. This week, stop, shift, shift start. start. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone.